Welcome to the Aquespresso Coffee Academy and today we're going to be talking about what problems coffee machines can solve and which ones they can't. So one of the most common problems people look towards coffee machines to solve is saving money. Now coffee machines have been proven to save tons of companies money and they have very often cost some companies tons of money. So I'm going to kind of tell you when you can save money and when you can't save money. Typically the only coffee machine which can allow a company to save money is an instant vending machine. Now this is because the products that go inside an instant vending machine are pretty much as cheap as you get and instant vending machines act to save money by controlling how the product inside is used. So how much coffee is dispensed, how much sugar is dispensed, how much milk is dispensed, is how machines actually allow companies to save money. It's not because the product going inside of any machines is anything special. It's literally because how the system is, is run or operated is how a coffee machine saves the company money. Now, companies that can save money are typically companies of about 20 to 30 people plus. And this is because coffee machines cost money, whether through a rental or through a purchase. And not only can, not, one doesn't only have to look at how much money they're spending on a monthly basis, but they have to also factor in the rental cost or the ones who purchase cost of the machine. And if a company is too small, let's say 20 people or fewer, they typically have to spend too much money on rental or too much money on buying a machine to offset how much they're gonna save on a monthly basis. So if you're a small company, coffee machines downright are not gonna save you money. If you're above 20 people, it doesn't mean that coffee machines are always gonna save you money because it depends on how your controls are currently, what the machine's going to, how that's gonna change your controls after the machine's installed. So it's a lot about trial and error, and it's about 50% of companies land up saving money with vending machines, and 50% don't. So if you're a company over 20, try to save money. If you're under 20, don't even try. Second thing, which is often expectation of coffee machines, which unfortunately just doesn't happen, is you're going to install a coffee machine on day one and on day two every single person in your company is going to be in overflowing with joy they're going to be unbelievably happy because you have now given them the greatest gift on earth and what typically happens is that 90 percent of people do react like that but you always have a percentage of people within a company who are not going to like what you've done change has happened people hate change and there are 90% of, of the people in the company are gonna be so happy with you, and there are gonna be 10% of the people that are gonna hate you forever. So that is one thing you just can't do with coffee machines. You cannot please everyone, unfortunately. Third thing, which is often an expectation of coffee machines, which I wish was true, but not the case, that A, you're gonna get the coffee machine again on day one. You're gonna plug it in, and you're never gonna to have to do anything else on that coffee machine except press a button when you want coffee. I wish. What typically happens is that every single day, not typically happens, it always happens, every single day, you have to undergo some sort of cleaning or maintenance cycle on a coffee machine. That's just how coffee machines work. Now, this cleaning or maintenance cycle isn't long. It takes typically between 10 and 20 seconds, but it does need to be done. So if your hope is to install a coffee machine and never worry about anything to do with cleaning and maintenance, it just doesn't exist. So I hope those expectations help you in choosing the right coffee machine in the future and look forward to hear what your thoughts. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about coffee or anything to do with coffee, please hit the subscribe button on your right.